Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm here again with my gorgeousness um, that we did yesterday from the Elizabeth Craft Design from the past um, papers. And I've selected some that I want to use in a, a little page project. And I've also got some other things prepared. So that's the page die, which I showed you yesterday. Oh, I don't think I'll put it back yet. <laughs> anyway, that's a sidekick page die, standard sidekick page die. And this is the Aviator. Look at that for a stamp. It's absolutely beautiful. She's just gorgeous. Stamps out so perfectly. And then you get the die to cut her out. I mean, it's just a win-win. So I have done that. I've stamped her. I've cut her out. And I'm going to place her there-ish. Um, I've also, I used some mixed media card actually and just uh, put some of the that Adirondack lettuce colour um, onto it and I've cut myself some reinforcers which need to go on. I've also made myself out of another piece of the uh, from the past paper pad just a little, it's a little tearaway book because we're journalists, we're not just making pretty pages, we are journalists, so we have to include some journaling. So I kind of want her there, is what I'm thinking. And that's going to stick out, but I can chop that off. I'm not proud to do that. And I'm going to put that in behind her there. So that nice green shows out. Uh, and I'm going to stump down there. And then this, the notebook, goes in behind her down to the bottom like that. And then just to keep that in place, I've backed this word incredible, which was one of the words we did yesterday, onto two pieces of card so it's really nice and sturdy. And I'm going to make a keep for this book with it. So it can swing out of the way and you can get your book out or you can swing it back down and it'll keep it in place. And I've also got this, which I just love. And all the pieces I'm going around with um, archival jet black ink, just so you don't see that the core of the paper, because uh, that always lets side down, I think, if you can see that. So just cover that up, there we go. And I might put that about there. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. And then after I've done this, I'm going to regroup and I'm going to show you how to use the dies, but with some Timmy stuff. So we're going to get grungy. <laughs> so let's just make a start putting this together. I'm going to put my uh, reinforcers on first and then they're on. And I don't need to worry about them anymore. Not that I worry about my reinforcers. To be honest, I don't. But I kind of want to get them straight because there's some lines in the paper and they'd look awful if they weren't. I have um, stuck the paper onto the Elizabeth Crafts double-sided roll. It's a monster, isn't it, that one? You don't need to buy a roll this size. Um, but it is fantastic. I'll stick it onto the back and then I don't need bother about fiddly little bits to glue. They just um, peel off and I can stick them on. And it's just easy peasy. So six of these. And at the end of this we're going to have one side of a page at any rate ready to go in our sidekick journal. Last one. Oh, the little circles. They are blighters. There we go. So we've got we've got a splash of colour on there already. And I'm gonna hang on to I've got two here cut and I'm gonna hang on to them because um I'm gonna be 
doing more from this collection so I might just need those so I'm not going to be rash and throw them out. Right next thing to do I think is stick this one down so let's get well actually let's put this on let's stick this on and I want it about let's just check just check it's better to check yeah I want it about there got plenty room Ooh, just about plenty of room so just off of the side of a mouth now I can't obviously glue the whole thing down because I want it to be a pocket so let's just turn that over get my pencil and I'm just gonna draw around that on the back side so I know where to glue and stick this on I'm really enjoying this paper pad set. I can tell you it's great. So it's going that way. So let's just get that in the right place where we want it, which is about there, I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Um, just get my bone folder. Press that down. And that's nice, another little bit of pop of green for us there so she's going to go down there like that then this is going to go in behind her like so but I want to stamp on that I think just add some more black back into it so let's just get my stamping cushion or whatever you want to call it out <coughs> and I think I'm going to stamp this one, the one that says airmail. I'm going to stamp it several times along that edge. So, Miss P, where are you here? Well, there we go. And I'm going to stamp it in Versifying Claire because it dries quicker than the archival. I'm just going to do a trial stamp up here because you'll never see that bit. So I just want to make sure it's... Oh, perfect. Now, I'm going to start at this end because this is the end that you're going to see most. Just carefully place it. Oh, that is so nice. Somebody commented to me the other day that they thought the Elizabeth Crafts things were quite expensive. Well, yeah, I'd say they're not cheap, but what you get is not cheap. You get a really lovely quality product. So there we are, that just says airmail down there and just brings that back. Black, back. Oh dear, too much whiskey this morning. <laughs> Wipe that off and pop it away. <coughs> and I think I think it'll look nice. There we go. Right, so let's get back to putting these in. So that's going to go down there. Like that, right on the edge of the page. And it does look better with that black stamping in, I think. So you need to... Miss P, behave yourself. She's had too much whiskey as well. Um, so that's going to go to there. So, yep, perfect. So this is going to go... <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to go there. Yeah, just beneath the top of her head. Let's just make a mark at the bottom where we want to stick that, like so, and glue the whole whole shebang. Looking forward to using the dies to do a, a, a Timmy version. Just to show you that the dies don't have to be used exclusively with Elizabeth Craft Design papers. You can use them with anything. So carefully putting that right on the side there. 
like so. Squash that down. Because these papers have been wet when we sprayed them, etc., they are trying to buckle a little bit, but the glue's sorting that out. We're fine. There we go. And I'm just going to go down that edge with my black ink. I would if I had any on my dauber, which I don't. So I'm going to go right round the entire thing with black ink. So you can't see the, the white paper. That's nice on there, like that. And there's only one colour to use here to edge it. It's got to be black. There we go. It's looking nicer all the time. Right, now then. We need to stick this lady in place. Now I want her head almost off the page but not quite um, that we're going to lose this i don't want to cover the reinforcer so it's just over exactly in the right place and this is going to slip into here like so which you see wants to force her head up so we do need that keep on there to keep her nice and flat or flattish anyway. <coughs> you could make your book thinner. I think I might have made mine a little bit on the chunky side, but that's okay, we can deal with that. Now then, just even putting that in, I can tell you that that is getting stuck on that and it will drive you dotty. So I'm just gonna put a little mark there, which is where it starts to catch. And I want to put a bit of masking tape over here. You won't see it, it's behind her head hopefully. Let's just check. Yeah, it's behind her head if we keep it on the on the lower side. And this will enable the book or a tag or anything that you want to put in there just to slide in nicely. Scissors. I don't want the bit that I've just been picking at. So I'm just going to put this on just to that mark that we made and just a little bit over the top of there just to enable that to, the book to slide in much more easily. And let's burnish that down. And that should facilitate that. So, right, time to stick you on, my dear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I can still see just a tiny little bit of that masking tape. Washi tape, it is. I don't know why I'm calling it mask, masking tape. I just want to trim that little corner off there. Perfect, I think. So she's nearly up to the edge. That's inside there. That's all right. That's great. Okay, so this is going to go into there like that. Yep, perfect. Yeah, that's much smoother. A much smoother action. Action Jackson, right. I've no idea what that means. I keep saying Action Jackson. I don't know what it is. I keep saying it though. Right, so I just want to glue along the bottom edge of her. I'm not putting black ink around her. I really love her the way she is in that stark black and white. So let's just put some uh, glue along the bottom edge of our lady.
Well, that's rather a lot. Let's take a little bit of that off. And make sure we've got that right. So quite low down. That's there, that's there. No higher up than that. Yeah, there. Okay. So I need a towel because I've got glue. Oh, calamity hour. Just wipe that glue off. Lovely. And press that down. Excellent. <coughs> Let's just rectify this disaster of everything. Falling on the floor. And I'm just going to trim that off and then I need to just put some black down that edge. Get off. There we go. That looks great. Oh, she looks fabulous, doesn't she? She absolutely does. So let's just give that a second to dry. So, yep, I think she's dry. I've just slid that in there. Oh, it does look nice. You can still see that stumping down there. And just as I say, the only problem is she just wants to kick up because of the bulk behind her. So what I've got is this, which is nice and sturdy. And I'm just going to put that on the top. So think about it before you do it. Do you want it over to the side like that? Swinging around that way. Uh, on the other side, you could have it. I think the middle works best. It has most pressure on her. So what I need to do is get my crocodile. And I'm just going to make a mark because, you know, I'm rubbish. You don't have to make a mark if you can see where the middle is. That's about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to make a mark there. And that's where I'm going to put my hole. And I'm just going to um, use the smaller hole, I think. Yeah, let's try the smaller hole first anyway. So that's there. So I want this to go about there. Maybe a little bit further over. About there. Yeah, about there. Not not quite well yeah you could do it right to the top no i'm going to come down just an eighth of an inch and i'm just going to mark that with my pencil because i need to put a hole there as well <laughs> which i promptly lost where i put it there it is right okay so we've got our two holes and I've got a brad that is silver with a black sort of gemmified centre. <laughs> and the crux of all this is I have got these. They're tiny, but they're kind of like little washers. I think they might be called olives. And they just build that up a little bit. So I'm thinking one's going to be enough, but we'll give it a try. So I'm taking my brad. I'm going to put it through the hole on here. I'm going to put the... Oh, don't lose the olive. Um, put it through the legs of... The legs through the hole of the olive and put that in. And is that going to be high enough? Yeah, that's high enough. You can build them up. You can have two together if you want, but that one there is adequate. Let's just turn those legs around. Hopefully, still everything looking all right there. Yes. And squash these legs down. Sorry, my hands look awful. It's black suit. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. Every time I use it, I get absolutely covered in this stuff. Right. So that swings out the way get our book out put our book back that swings back and keeps her in place and that is that as simple as when you come to do the the reverse of this you are of course going to have to work around this 
So let's just for the moment put some washi tape on it uh, just so the legs don't get caught on anything. But that was really poor attempt, really poor attempt. Um, There we go. No, it's still not blooming straight. Get a grip. That's better. So yeah, when you when you come to do this side, you do have to bear in mind that you've got that there and that you need to work around it. But there's our our page. I love her and she's full of journaling. She's just a doll, isn't she? Absolute doll. So, right, end of part one. I'm just going to pause you, have a monumental clear up, and then I'll come back to you with Timmy papers and goodies. And we'll go from there. So, see you in a sec. <laughs> 